Based in San Diego, Nautilus is an aerospace startup developing a portfolio of efficient blended wing body aircraft that could transport passengers and cargo more sustainably. According to the company, compared to traditional tube and wing aircraft we use today, these designs could reduce fuel consumption by 30%, while increasing payload capability by 40%. Nautilus recently unveiled Horizon, the company's first passenger aircraft that could compete with the popular Boeing 737 and Airbus 320 narrow-body aircraft. Horizon is in the same payload class with the ability to transport 200 passengers with cargo along intercontinental and transatlantic routes. According to the company, Horizon's blended wing body aircraft improves aerodynamic efficiency and boosts interior volume. The company expects to begin deliveries in the early 2030s, which Nautilus believes to be in line with commercial carrier fleet purchasing decisions to meet the airline industry's 2050 net zero goals. The aircraft's larger volume stands to improve the flight experience, offering customizable cabin and seating layouts for these 200 passengers. Or at least a few different options as to how the sardines are going to be laid into the can. Horizon also stands to be much quieter than modern aircraft and compatible with existing airport infrastructure. The Horizon is actually Nautilus's second product. The company also unveiled Kona, a blended wing body regional aircraft that remains on pace to start deliveries in the late 2020s. The increased body volume also makes these aircraft a potential fit for hydrogen electric propulsion. Back in May, Nautilus partnered with Zero Avia to put hydrogen electric engines in Kona cargo aircraft. Zero Avia's ZA600 will be the only hydrogen electric propulsion source used in the novel Kona short haul feeder UAVs. The blended wing body actually provides more room for hydrogen fuel storage. Nautilus was founded in 2016 with a pedigree that includes talent pulled from General Atomics, Northrop Grumman, Skunk Works, and SpaceX. But the company isn't the only blended wing body game in town. In May, Boeing subsidiary Aurora Flight Sciences finished the conceptual design review process on a VTOL X-plane concept that has a similar design. Airbus unveiled its Maverick blended wing demonstrator back in 2020 and just last year, the U.S. Air Force invested some $235 million in Jet Zero, another startup working on blended wing body aircraft that could be used as military tankers and cargo planes. I'm David Manti. This is Manufacturing Now.